So I might think that. So already two changes in the books for Jenna Wolves. And in the first 45 minutes. Just one card to speak of in the entire match thus far. Great play by Porto Nova. Ah, the captain is the rock in defense there. Was in the first half. That's what Conte's men will be trying to do as the season goes on. Genoa trying to break free. Guess it. Inside to Konate. Konate. Lays it off. This one finds his way to Fed Facilis. Cornered by two defenders. Is he going to be brought down at the box? No. The referee's going to give him a card. Yeah. Like Tevis had in the first half, he received one for diving. And uh, Fed Facilis, you were about to see what's going to happen when he went into the box. And away from goal, had no chance here. Uh, he has a speed. But uh, clearly no foul here. Scoring much more often than they did now. Streaking forward. Genoa. So again, a little bit more sustained possession by Genoa. Konate. Facilis tries to get it wide. It's all by himself. Not a good idea to leave him alone. Sending one over for Llorente. Never gets there. No call there either. Was not called early against Manfredini. Nice move from Fred Fatidis. Getting up the sideline. Here's Genoa. Genoa outnumbered. Fiorentina and Chievo now tied. Cuadrado evening things up for Fiorentina. Juventus in trouble. Only 30 yards away from more active. Sarico. Samoa doing a good job keeping up. Fefacidis gets into his position looking for a chance to score. He has his legs taken out by Pirlo. Very, very subtle though. He did not receive this free kick. I think it was free kick. Croatian international. This is the play earlier. Yeah, Pirlo definitely a foul. Uh, he will make his way, I think, in this Juventus team. Well, right now they don't have really many choices up top. Mirko Vucinic and Quagliarella still out. It's been a blessing in disguise, though, because Juve really do need running the show. Still in control. A quick turnover, though, and all of a sudden Genoa streaking forward. Maybe this is the counterattack they've been waiting for. Facidis gets it on the outside of the box. He's got a little bit of room to work with. Centers the ball. Gets lost. Yeah, Kuka took too long in the first touch in the control. And uh, the attack needs to be built up from behind again. Inside, Isla gives it away. A chance here. Konate has got some room. Centurion gives it a touch. Forward, Fetfat is quickly surrounded by four defenders. Out to the wing, though. Genoa keeping up the pace. And then eventually one day they're br brought back. A member of the Italian national side since 2011. Conate tries to send one across. Another great play by Perin. That, that's going to be a foul. That goes against Pirlo. Right at the center of the pitch. That Pazzi's goal for you. That would be his second of the match. A shot from the outside is blocked. De Seglia tried it. Tried the distance shot. And this man, watch out, is fast. Pazzi's dribbling around in the midfield. Loses his footing. Gets right back up. And in the end, how is that not a foul? The referee let go again and don't get it here. There was no advantage anymore. The foul was made against Fed Fatidis. Could not continue with his run. The way his team played today, they outshot their opponents 24 to 4 in total. 8 0 in terms of shots on target. 60 to 40 possession edge. A beautiful game all around by Juventus, really. Yeah, very convincing. Second place by virtue of goal difference. Roma remains on top. And they're in the lead right now, 1-0 in Udinese. So they're underway. Coming their way. Cross into the area. Finally a chance here, and Buffon reaches up. Never had to worry about it. Yeah, just in case. He puts his finger up there to secure nothing really strange happens.
and not really the big danger here from Geno and it comes much too late. Anyway, this small man reaches out with the hand. To 7-1-1. One one. 22 points from nine matches. They'll go to a perfect 4-0. Oh, well, at home, I should say.